Hi and welcome to this short tutorial on how to uh, uh, emulate a pivot table in R, an Excel pivot table. Uh, we're also going to look at uh, SQL here because the logic is very, very similar. Um, remember that you can uh, download the code uh, on the links below the, the video. So let's get to it. Let's clean up our environment. We're going to load the, load the dplayer and the uh, tidyr uh, packages here. And we're going to read in a uh, data frame uh, or data set called uh, Superstore, or Canadian Superstore. It's some sales data for a Canadian store with several branches. Write it to Excel. Let's open it in Excel. Have a look. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. So we have some uh, stuff like uh, order date and uh, priority, quantity, sales. We're going to look at sales. We're going to look at a, uh, which region of Canada the store is located in, and customer segment and product category. So let's quickly throw that into a um, pivot table. And we're going to look at the sum of sales as our metric. And we're going to look at the... Um, product category, region, and the customer segment. And let's quickly Okay. So this is your most basic uh, slice and dice. Okay. And note that Excel automatically obviously puts this in a, either a sum or a, sometimes it'll throw it into a, a count automatically. Um, and, and that's that's it in Excel. Let's have a look in uh, in SQL. Let's just comment out that. Okay, so let's run a select product category region customer segment. And here we tell it to do the sum of sales explicitly in a total sales column and group by uh, product category, region, and customer segment. Let's run that. Sorry about that. OK, and we get the same thing. So let's see how to do it in R. So first of all, we'll throw this into a, an object called pivot. And we use the, uh, the dplayer syntax to select the four columns. Okay, let's do that. Have a look at the and again so we selected the the four columns but we haven't told it what to do yet. So the second thing we tell it what to do is is to group by uh, the three attributes. Okay, so now it's uh, um, Unlike SQL, it still doesn't know what to do with the sales. So the third thing we tell it to do is to summarize the sales with a sum command, with a sum function. Okay, so now we already have the total sales column. And so that's your very basic select statement, which is uh, emulated uh, in R in the very same manner. Now let's go back to Excel and throw in uh, the sales into the metrics for a couple more uh, measures that we might want to take a look at. So let's select a uh, average here and say a count here. Okay, so much in the same manner. We'll add these two columns in SQL. Okay, and we have the average sales and num sales uh, columns here as well. So what we have to do in R to uh, recreate that is, again, add more uh, calculated measures here to the summarize function. So we add the average sales as the mean of sales. And the num sales, recall uh, that uh, uh, count is done via the length function in R because we basically uh, uh, look at the length of a vector. 
uh, including or excluding any NAs that it uh, that it might have. Okay, so here we've recreated the uh, uh, the summary table of the total sales, average sales, and num sales in R. So I hope it's clear and useful. Uh, you can ask me questions in the uh, in the comments uh, section. Thanks for tuning in.